distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think I prefer the ladies. I prefer the ladies. <laughs> So rest in perfect peace and uh, we are still mourning the demise of our former president flight lieutenant jerry john rawlings but all the same the show still goes on so tonight is still the late night celebrity show with me foster romanos as as we do here always tonight is another night it's a lovely wednesday evening and you're welcome you can join me on whatsapp at 0202222054 and uh, send your messages comments and well wishes I'm going to read them. Uh, before we set the ball rolling, I have one fine lady here. Yeah, I, I saw her in a mask. I thought she was from Egypt. <laughs> 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 oh, you know, you know when you watch uh, this movie, uh, Mortal Kombat? <laughs> have you watched what, Mortal Kombat? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Raiden. You see how Raiden's uh, mm -hmm. attire and costume is like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look like Sub-Zero. So she is the current Miss Ghana winner, or you can say the, the current queen. Yeah, Miss Monique uh, Ablo. Uh. <laughs> Maulawe. Monique Maulawe Ablo. Agbe de Kui. Yeah, we'll do Monique. <laughs> <laughs> Monique is my guest. <laughs> but she was here, I think some, some months ago when mm -hmm. she won, and this time around she's here again to tell us how far and what she is up to and what she has up her sleeve. You're welcome again. Thank you. Always looking dashing. Thank As for you. the queen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, the, the queen have given it to anybody. You deserve it. Oh, come you on. Too, you Thank too. you. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. And you're welcome again. Thank you. So what's up with you? OK, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm doing wonderful. Can tell. <laughs> Can see your eyes. Oh. <laughs> 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 so what's up what's going on now that you have the crown i think it's like a month or two now mm -hmm. you had your you did the donation yeah yeah what's up again are you doing something else yeah, mm. yeah. What's that? so so far we've worked on two projects already wow. which is distributing of ppe we went to blood drive and then health screening mm. this time around we are having an entrepreneurship skills for the kaya -E. wow yeah at um, Rollins Park, Accra. So the time is Sunday, 22nd, 2 p.m. Mm. You can pass by if you're free. Well, 2 p.m., yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll mm -hmm. be after church. So yes, yeah, so you have to be there for start. I'll, <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll find my way there. My church okay. is somewhere. Around there. Not too far from there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so we'll Sunday, be blessed to have you there. Oh, I'll, I'll try my best and be there. But <laughs> why, why can I? Okay, so we there a lot of KIA are in town. They keep working day and night, and then it's like they have nothing doing, mm. nowhere to sleep. At the end of the day, the one city, two city they get, it goes back to feeding their children and all. They have no business at hand because they didn't, sorry to say, go to school that much. We don't see them working in companies and all. So we thought it wise to teach them something to do, handwork skills, so that when they get this one city, two city, they can also sell something and make more income to take their children to school. Mm. Oh, okay. So um, what are some of the things you are teaching them? Okay, so th we are teaching them how to make liquid soup, how to make yogurt. We have bead making and a whole lot. Wow. So below. So afterwards, are you giving them something to start with or? Okay. It, it will be a surprise. Not too sure. It will be a surprise. <laughs> oh, wow. I like that. So on <laughs> Sunday, are you doing it together or just you? Together. Together with yes. the other queens. Other queens, yes. Wow. With management. Oh, that's nice. So on Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Rolling Circle, yeah. Accra, mm -hmm. uh, we have the entrepreneurship skill training for the Kayayi, and this is spearheaded by the queen. 
current queen of Miss Ghana and her colleagues, colleague queens, and mm -hmm. their managers, like <laughs> she says. So, yeah, you can also take advantage. So, if I'm not a career, I can't. Oh, you can come, around. Can come around. After all, when you learn it, it's for your own good. Mm. Exactly. Wow. I'll come and learn that. We have a lot of sponsors on board. Okay. Um, I think, let me mention them. We have Golden Groceries, uh, Colibia Designs. Mm. We have Manya Ponytail. They even teach people how to make ponytails and all. Oh, wow. We have Bel Aqua, AMA is sponsoring with the pack. We have Menes Pork. We have pork coming around, so you have to come and eat. <laughs> the Dinner, Wache Island, La Guela Ghana, No Spices, Kinke Smoothies, Special Atadri Drink. Mm. We have Blossom Cafe, Smoothie Smear, Muniz Greek Yogurt, Franca Foods Ghana, Laboni Coffee Shop. We have Mooncheeks, Chelyran Restaurant. Chumesi Events and Rentals, EA Franchise, Cheesy Pizza, The Ghanaian Bar. Should I keep going? That's all. <laughs> okay, so going for a quick commercial break, but remember to be there on Sunday at the uh, Rollings Park. Show sure. your morning him. That's, that, that's one of the things we're mm -hmm. actually going to miss because he has a lot of memories yeah. all over yeah. the country. So be there at the Rollings Park again at 2 p.m. this Sunday, 22nd. Mm -hmm and come and learn a skill or two mm -hmm. for your own good. Be an entrepreneur, make money yourself. I'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay. You're a superstar. Well, you're welcome back and you're still tuning into the Late Night Celebrity Show. My name is still Foster Romanus. You just joined us. Well, you've not missed much. We had um, the current queen of Ghana, Miss Ghana was here to talk about upcoming um, the upcoming uh, entrepreneurship skill at the um, uh, rolling circle inside a crowd on sunday at 2 p.m now i have a legend in the building or in the studio and uh, you saw his video this man has been evergreen since the first day i met him and he's still his sounds are still fresh so today we are looking at his life and that of Ex-president, fly lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings. I'm sure I know he's one of like he's like very close pal of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes my music that much. And yeah. uh, so, so was it was it the music that connected you to, or you had? Um, we met quite a little time before the music uh, mm -hmm. because uh, when it was at uh, Ready, you know, um, the airport, uh, you know, doing the um, taking his course in you know, flight, yeah. to become flight less and everything. Uh, he, ha he has an auntie in second day. Okay. So he used to visit, you know, and that was the place that I was born to, I mean, uh, Asami Sido. Oh, okay. So that was the time that I got a glimpse of him, you know, and um, later on I left second day because of the music and uh, he also had to come to Accra, you know, that. but later on uh, we met back again in the course of my musical perform performances. Okay. And uh, he's always, you know, <laughs> he's always, you know, having fun with me. Yeah. You know, because uh, I didn't know much of his military side, but talking about his entertainment side and things like that, I mean, he loved my music so much that, uh, you know, anytime he sees me, and things mm -hmm. like that, you know, so, um, we met a couple of times in his office uh, when he was at the castle and uh, when he left office and uh, he had another office at Ridge mm -hmm. and things like that. So, you know, we've been rubbing shoulders sometimes. Oh. <laughs> I like that, rubbing shoulders. So how, 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 did the, how did you take the news when you heard about um, the fact that he was no more? I wasn't expecting that anyway because uh, you know, not that quite long ago, he had to go and bury the mother. Yeah. And um, a couple of days after, uh, we heard of his passing. Yeah. I didn't hear it, but uh, the boy, the boy that I live with in my house, you know, mm. in the morning he told me that uh, the ex-president had passed. I said, no, hey, what are you talking about? Yeah. And I wanted to check it out, so I went straight to my phone, you know, to check on the media concerning mm -hmm. the. Facebooks and all that, and lo and behold, everything was right there, and that the ex-president was gone. Yeah. That was a shock to me, because uh, his persona, or whatever that he, he didn't dictate, that uh, he yeah. was going to pass away so soon, yeah. you know, but hey, such is life. 
Let me remind viewers, you can join us on WhatsApp. It's on 020 uh, Send your messages, 020 So, okay. So, do you have any any sort of like Nikki? You, you call, most of us called him Papa J. You know, did you, do you also call him Papa J? Or you had some? No, I never ever call him Papa J. I mean, I've been just call him JJ. You know, because he's known more with that JJ. And uh, uh, you know, people used to call him Papa J. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, anytime I meet with him, I call him JJ. You know, and he calls me Ambule wow. and things like that. So. That kind of rapport was right there, mm. you know. Oh, okay. So, um, if, if 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 let's say we had to ask you of your fondest moment, uh, memory of him, what's going to be that fondest memory you will always remember him for? Um, I one time at one of my performances, you know, at the um, um, the National Theatre. Mm. You know, he was there, the whole of uh, the entourage of the ministers and everything, all of them were around because any time that he's going out, you know, he got followers, you know. And I was performing on stage and uh, I saw that he was there, I greeted him. And later on, when it got to my Ragam Zoo and things like that, you know, uh, I went straight to him because I left the stage and I went straight to where he was sitting. And I asked him, my president, you know, waiting day there. Mm -hmm. He hesitated, you know, from the beginning. He didn't want, you know. Yeah. I said, no, you're going to say it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> because me on the stage and him sitting down, I thought that I was the president that, that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I went this. back to him. And I said, my president, waiting day there. Then he responded, ragam, ragam, the whole place was, yeah. Mm. I said, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, and it was. The next day, the papers, you know, everybody, the yeah, people yes. were saying, oh, yeah, now the president is singing profane and things Ooh. like that, that kind of format. Wow. I said, man, that's entertainment. And mm. after how this work, he has to enjoy himself. Yeah. You know, so uh, it became the funded, you know, kind of uh, uh, time that I am with him. I, suppose, I mean, aside from me sitting down with him, like I'm sitting down with you and talking about, uh, music and uh, how we're going to use music to be able to uh, unify, mm. you know, the civilians, the soldiers, and all that. You know, we we used to talk about that. Wow. You know, so, but the funded mo the the funded moment was that night. You and know, because right around, right around. the next day the whole papers, graphic times, everybody was talking about it. Yeah. You know, so it became so great for me. Oh, that's nice. Did you ever have uh, had an opportunity to, like you were saying, you, you were discussing um, how to merge the, you know, bring unity, etc., through music? Did you ever go into the arts on how to, you know, with regards to the entire industry? Do you have that opportunity to discuss something like that with him? Um, at one time, you know, he had to call me to the castle. You know, he called me to the castle. He called the. Uh, the Armed Forces uh, musical director and things like that. And uh, we sat down with uh, Totobu Kwachi and all those kind of, and we sat down talking about uh, the music industry and uh, how, we're going to, how we're going to catapult it, you know, and make it viable and things like that. And uh, uh, it went so deep that uh, uh, after the meeting, he had to call me back again oh. because uh, he wanted something done. And he, that moment he thought that I'm the person who can do that because he, the way he sees my music and the people, you know, uh, reacting to my music and things like that, he saw that, hey man, that Sikandi boy has something mm. and uh, it has to be utilized, you know. So that made me to get close to him and uh, talk about it. Uh, aside from that, he's gonna call me back into his office and all that, aside from that, you know, sometimes at festivals and performances, you know, so we were closely in touch, mm. but I had to leave for America, okay. you know, after all said and done, because uh, uh, when I had a chance of going to America, I thought that yes, because uh, America is the entertainment center of the world. Mm. And if you believe yourself as a musician, go to America, 
So I had to leave. I left and went to America and uh, came back, I think, around about 96. And uh, that's when I released the Ragman Zoo, where, yeah, you yeah, the, yeah. yeah, whereby, you know, we got reconnected. Wow. Yeah. Let me pause for a quick commercial break. When I come back, the show continues. Remember, you can send your messages 020-22-22054. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. You're still tuning to the Late Night Celebrity Show, and I'm here with legendary Jedouble Ambule. Before we went on the break, he was telling us about how he had meetings with the ex-president, uh, discussing how to bridge um, the gap between civilians and, um, you know, the military. But how, I mean, I, I, I feel he was one of the people who was very much, you know, um, passionate about the entertainment industry. Uh, because during his time, you realize that uh, there was some sort of vibrancy in the entertainment scene. Uh, we had uh, um, the National Theatre then. Was it, was, was that how it was? Yeah, I mean, his passion towards music was right there, you know. Uh, but his time also killed the, 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 the high life music. His time killed the high life Yeah, his time. Uh, I'm not saying that he deliberately, you know, killed it, but... Okay. Uh, you know, there was curfew, and Ooh. the curfew was over two years, constantly. Mm. And the musicians live by playing music, you know, and the curfew is from six to six. That means musicians can't make ends to meet. Okay. So most of the musicians have to travel out. Some went to Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Europe, and all that. Oh. You know, so when the curfew was lifted, no musicians around. And that was when the spinners had to come and replace uh, the, music, the musicians. So having oh. that passion, you know, having that passion to uh, 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 make music, you know, to unify uh, the police, the military, the civilians and all that, mm. you know, because of security reasons, you know, he had to, uh, you know, let the curfew stay as long yes. as over two years. Okay, and so uh, then that got them traveling, the musicians traveling out of yeah, the country. Because and when it, was, when it was lifted, those that went to Nigeria had jobs in Nigeria, so they couldn't leave and come back, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, Ivory Coast and all that. So, if you, you know, it's like a you know, to and fro thing. Yeah. You know, though his passion was there, but because of security reasons and things like that, you know, it also backfired. You know. tell you a bit. Wow, wow, wow. L let me read um, this from a viewer who has a question for you. Uh, he says, I'm NK from Kwahum Praeso, RIP to our papa. But I want to ask Miss Kambule, uh, my kid says calls her father, calls him father of music. I want to ask, what is it that our generation isn't doing about their music that make their songs fade out within some few months? I remember playing these old songs in my car. My friends were like, damn, you still got all these songs. What makes your, your time songs still last compared to our current songs? Everything, if you do it well, you're going to stay well. Because, uh, example, like if you play Bob Marley's music today, mm. it's still fresh. It's yeah. like it was recorded yesterday. Because they, put, they took time and put time into it yeah. to record it. You know, today's music has been like sharp, sharp style of music because, you know, younger ones, everybody got a computer mm. and, uh, you know, working on Fruity Loops and things like that to create rhythms and things like that. Some of the, the rappers, even they go to the studio, uh, the studio engineer, they will ask me if he has some beats. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll say, yeah. And he'll play different, different beats and they say, oh, I like that one. And then, but our time wasn't like that. Our time you create it. You know, it's not that somebody who's going to create that for you, create it. Because we learned what is called music. Mm. You know, the rudiments of music and uh, the cadences of it and all that. But the younger ones these days don't know about the rudiments and the cadences of it. So, uh, you know, sharp sharp things also goes, sh goes out sharp sharp. Yeah. You know, so that's what is happening now. Is it as a result of the instrumental or the content, the lyrics of the, or both? Both, bo both, because uh, the instrumentation as well as the ly lyrics being added to the instrument and things like that plays a very vital role mm. 
because back in the days, uh, people do music and put words in it that reflects a way of life. Yeah. You know, nowadays the younger ones are singing more with their girlfriends and everything more than the realities so, of life. Yeah. So it doesn't stay that long. Wow. Coming to high life mm -hmm. and being a legend in that field for that matter, um, I've been asking quite a number of the high life acts and then some of the, you know, um, oldies who've been coming. Can we say that we are losing our sound with the introduction of this Afrobeat? Because it looks like um, you can hardly say this person is doing pure high life. Can we say we are losing our sound? The younger ones are helping our heritage to be lost. Because the younger ones are doing more of dancehall, doing more of reggae and things like that. But we all know that dancehall and reggae came from Jamaica. Yeah. The blacks that were sent away from here created that in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But we have our own. Our own is our life. And every dance music in the world, whether it's South America, India, America, or anywhere, has high life connotations in them. Oh. So, because high life is, is, is the roots. You know, jazz, funk, and uh, hip hop, and uh, the all branches of high life. Mm. You know, but the younger ones are sharing more into uh, World Call Dance Hall. And the radio stations and things like that are still supporting that because if you go to radio stations, the DJs, you said the younger, younger, younger guys in their 20s, and they didn't meet what was our life. Yeah. So they think that reggae and things like that and dance hall is what is happening. Mm. But uh, our life can never die. It can never die no. because it gave birth to dance hall, reggae, jazz, uh, rap, and things like that. It was our life that gave birth to all of them. So our life will never die. So what can be done? to preserve it um, or to get our folks to come back to it and readily accept it because it looks like I don't know whether it's the marketing of it or the sale of it I don't know why it looks like it's sort of currently unpopular what can be done to preserve it everything is based on information and education we need to be organizing things like workshops and seminars and everything so that we can pass on information to the younger ones. Because the younger ones are the ones who are going to carry it to the future. Mm -hmm. But they have to know the, the, the language of music. So when you travel out of Ghana, you are representing Ghana. So they have to, you have to let them know what we have here. If, I, if somebody goes out of here, goes to perform in Europe and be doing dance hall and things like that, they will ask you, where are you from? Oh, Ghana, okay, sit down. Because if they want dance hall and everything, they will go to Jamaica and bring the, because they, it was created from yeah. there. So we need to be doing workshops. We need to be doing some seminars because it's a language. And uh, we can be sharing ideas, you know, teach their kids uh, the guitars and the keyboards and things like that and let them see the way because they're going to carry it to the future. But if they don't have that uh, uh, knowledge, it means that it's going to fall short. But so then whose shoulders will this lie on? Music or? It's musicians Union of Ghana, because music, Musicians Union of Ghana is there for the welfare of musicians. And the welfare of musicians, workshops and everything, information, everything is all included. Mm. You know, but. Those that were at the uh, music are, are rappers. Or war and the kind of gang, they don't know what it's called music and uh, uh, the connotations of it, talking about uh, crotchets and quivers and things. They don't yeah, know. Yeah. So that is what is affecting us. So if you see Shatawalis and the uh, Stone Boys, them, you know, singing, because you see, you hear Stone Boys and, and they're all singing in Patwa. That, that, that the Jamaicans are singing. Yeah. So are we copying or are we becoming real and original? Oh. So the information is going to be based on interreaction. But um, before I go for a quick commercial break, we have the artists all saying that there's nothing going on at music and most of them are not even uh, interested in uh, the things of music. So how then do 
we use music uh, to get them together to even uh, release or relay this information. Because of the mafiarism that is going on in music, uh, that is what is causing all the this. What? The mafiarism? Mafiarism. Oh. Mafiarism. <laughs> <laughs> That's what is causing all that. You know, because we have people who have contributed a lot, mm. who know music and things like that. These are the ones that we need to get together, you know, and share. But if those that are there don't know anything about knowledge about music and things like that, how can they have even the idea of, uh, you know, setting up workshops and uh, uh, seminars to be able to share ideas and uh, impart knowledge? Mm. By, by mafiarism. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what do you mean by mafiarism? Because there's no way Obo has to become a president. There's no way um, uh, Dana hopes in them to have become a president. It's through mafiarism that uh, they all came there because, uh, because of moral practices that is going on in there. They want some guys to come and cover the moral practices because they know that us, we, we know what is going on there. And when we come there, all these, all these moral practices will be okay. exposed. And they'll, they'll, you know, city could worry them, they don't want that. So they have to use some mafia ways and things like to put a boy in there, uh, down hosting mm -hmm. there. And that is what is affecting the music and it affected the music. Okay, let me go for a quick commercial break. I'll be right back, stay tuned. Right, you're still tuning in to ETV Ghana, your world of quality entertainment. I have legendary Jedouble Ambule with me here. You can call me now, 055-565-7278, 055-565-7278. As well, you can send me your WhatsApp messages, 0202222054. Daddy, I have a message here, and this one says, please, can you mention five young artists? Now, who can hold on to high life so our heritage never fades out? Uh, I know Kofi Kenata is one. Yeah, you said he, he's the only one doing... Yeah, he's, you know, doing singing a high life and as well as rapping mm. and things like that. Um, Obrafo was, was on the same line, yeah. but the music that was supporting what he was doing also started to uh, fade because he was using more of... Uh, a hip hop style and all that kind of things, you know. Mm. And uh, um, right now, the ones who are like uh, what um, Kevin Boy is doing now, yeah. Kevin Boy is trying to mix high life and things like that. So uh, there are a few, mm. you know, who are trying to come back on the uh, on the high life yeah, vein to be able to, uh, yeah. Well, I was going to ask you about the Kevin Boy. And I remember the last time we, we spoke, we were talking about collaborations, and uh, you were saying that because of the kind of sound they had, it was difficult for you to, you know, have a collaboration with them. What, what, what was it about Kelvin Boy's um, song that made you accept the collaboration? Well, you see, you, you can feel the high life in it. Yeah. You okay. know, that, that motivated me, you know, to be part of it, because you can feel our heritage mm. in what we're doing. Okay, but then did you play a role in the creation of the rhythm, the beat, or you just went on to do? No, they did all that. They did all that, and uh, called me uh, to uh, be part of it. Okay, you know. So when I listened to the music, and I said, "Okay, send me the track," okay. and they sent me the track, and uh, you know, I did what I have to do. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you can call me zero five 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 six five seven two seven eight zero five 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 six five seven two seven eight. So currently, uh, with Corona, uh, I learned we were on tour, but then you had to cut it short because of the pandemic. How how has it affected you? Um, immensely, mm. because uh, there's no avenue to make ends meet now because. We make performances and uh, everything. That's where we make our living from. Now, um, this whole of the whole of this year, uh, I should have been on tour. Yeah. You know, but Corona has stopped it, and uh, everything has been pushed to uh, 2021. And now the corona is becoming even more <laughs> severe. Yes, <it's> <laughs> <Now. Yeah. laughs> so wow. we're looking up to, I mean, it's been pushed to uh, next summer. Mm. 
And so we're looking up to between now and uh, say March, if, 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 if things are going to come control, down. They yeah. say they got some vaccines and all of that. Yes, you get vaccines fine. You want okay. to try the, let them try the vaccines on the politicians. <laughs> And if it is for if <laughs> I have a call on the line. Hello, good evening. Yeah. Okay, what's I'm your name, please? I'm Aysen. Come again. Aysen, Aysen. Okay, please, lower the volume on your TV set. I've lowered it already. All right, go ahead and talk to Jay Dubele. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah, my name is I'm calling from Kaswa. Okay. It's a pleasure listening to the great man, you know. Hello? Yeah, we are listening. It's a pleasure listening to the great man, you know. I've learned a whole lot as, as what he has said as an upcoming artist. And I would like to go on watching this show, you know. I'm very proud of him being from the Western region, and that tells me I can also go far yeah. as that. As that. I yeah. really, I really like what he's saying, and I, I, I really enjoy this show. And then he has motivated me. If I, if I've seen Kevin Boy with him doing a collaboration, I'm, I want to see myself with him the next coming years. I just need to work hard. Yeah. yeah. It is possible. I'm very okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's. Thank you very much for the call. So. <laughs> You said they should test on the phone. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they, they are the ones who come asking for it. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, if, if they test on them and it's good, it works, then, they then, then it, the door is open. If it doesn't... Yeah, then you it have, have, it got to be stopped. <laughs> 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 but then, are, are you planning on a, on a nationwide tour? Because it looks like all the tours are out of the country. Yeah, um, you know, the corona thing has come in. Now mm. it's trying to pick up. And uh, so um, um, I'm trying to do a new two releases before the end of this year. Okay. And uh, the other album, too, I want to release a full album. Uh, Please, I have a caller. Let me take the caller. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Your name and where you're calling from? Please, my name is NK, calling from Kowalpas. NK from Co. Okay, go ahead and talk to JW. Yeah, I believe I've already sent two messages and you yeah. put them yeah. already. But there's no way I can't call, listen to a great legend like this. Oh. I think um, he has been a blessing to the country, giving us good music. Mm. Anywhere you go and you mention his name, you just see people just turn up. And I want to say, God bless you very much for blessing us with this. But since Musical, there is issue in musical, and uh, I just want to say that um, try your possible best and do what you can do so that um, we won't lose that passion. Because right now, it will be very awkward to see a particular music within just two minutes, 15 seconds, then they are done. So, all these things make this music do fade away. Because I remember Ghana started music before different countries. Yet, those countries are up there. So I think Highlands is the only general that can take Ghana on the map. So let's try as possible best to help the young ones so that they can push the music industry higher. And I want to say, God bless you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Please, you were saying uh, about the tour. Yeah. You're now planning uh, yeah. an album too. Yeah, so i um, planning to release uh, two songs before the end of the year. Okay. Then the rest, I'll release them, maybe uh, talking about the Valentine time by next year. Okay. Then I'll embark on tour. Oh. But um, uh, maybe there's going to be a conflict a little bit because uh, if Europe gets opened uh, from April and things like that, then I'm going to embark. Back on the on, yeah, Is it because return. there's no money when you do it here or... No, no, no. Um, the specifications of uh, 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 the 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 money making thing, mm. you know, over the the structures are working. Yeah. You know, because I've been getting royalties and things like that for my works that are released over there. Wow. Here you don't get royalties because uh, they use your music, and uh, you know the law too says that if somebody uses your music for I mean for a commercial purpose. You need to be compensated. 
But here, the laws are not properly implemented, and it's affecting the musicians who are here. Mm. You know, so um, uh, we need to restructure. You know, so that uh, instead of traveling outside, you stay here. So that you make because here is our home, and we are proud of our home. Yeah. But we need to st get everything properly structured. Wow. Yeah. I get that. Okay, so our time is up. Um, let's, as we wrap up your final message, and um, what, I mean, what last words you can say to console us, and then <laughs> wrap up. <laughs> um, my condolences to the, um, the family of uh, JJ, and... Um, uh, him be my friend, uh, when the time comes for the funeral, I'm going to be there and uh, extend my, uh, my condolences and uh, uh, whether it's performance or anything, I'm just going to be yeah. part of it. Okay. Aside from that, the younger ones who want to embark into music, they really have to learn because uh, uh, it's a language. You must know the language. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you know the language, that will empower you to be able to move forward and things like that. They mustn't take shortcuts and things like that because our fathers used to say that shortcuts are dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, so they need to stick to, and if they want to know anything, they can have to come and ask our seniors mm. because uh, uh, school don't come home. We, we go to school. So yeah. if they don't want to, they have to come. That's and we're going to impact it for them to move forward. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, let me say that on Friday, or the uh, 20th of this Friday, at Triple Hill, Hill Hotel, Triple Hill Hotel, there is the first edition of Karaoke Karaoke by Ama Petal and her friends. So just be at Triple Hill Hotel. Uh, it's on the Wager Road. Be there at 9 p.m. on Friday and enjoy some karaoke and some music from Ama Petal and her friends. My name is Foster Romanos. I'll be back again on Friday. Until then, it's good night. Stay safe. Bye.